What's up everybody? Jay Nelson here on Facebook Live. You know what? That light is way too bright. Let me change that. Y'all bear with me. I'm here at the cabin. Hang on. That is not going to work. Sorry about that everybody. There we go. That's going to be better. That's going to be better. What's up everybody? Still a little bright. Okay, listen. This is a big deal. So tonight... We have a absolute mega agent from Kentucky. Um, I'm telling you, Elizabeth Monarch is a she was a lifetime achievement award winner with Remax by the time she was 34 years old. Uh, she's been at Keller Williams uh, as of the last few years. Uh, brought on uh, a lot of Keller Williams agents, probably over 200 agents. Oh, there she is. She's watching. Hey. So I am about to put her in to this Facebook Live so you guys can meet a mega agent that is absolutely fired up about EXP. Uh, she just came on board about a week, a little over a week ago, maybe, and she's just tearing this thing up and, and starting to build all over the nation. So let me add Elizabeth to the Facebook Live. Here we go. Here we go. We're we got a lot of people jumping on board. You want to hear what up? There she is. Hey. What's up? How are you? I'm great. Good to see you. I am just so excited uh, to be live tonight. I tell you, you know, you sometimes you get a little nervous about technology, but I am just so excited to be here uh, and to have the opportunity to talk, uh, and especially, I'm hoping a lot of people in the Louisville market will be able to have a chance to hear my story. So thank you so much for having me on. Is this, Elizabeth, is this your first Facebook Live uh, split screen interview? <laughs> it is. It is. And I will tell you, I was a little nervous about it. <laughs> you were texting me going, Jay, I don't know if I'm doing it right. I know. I'm just like, uh, I just want to make sure that I'm doing it right. That's all. That's all. So, okay, well, there I'm we go. I'm telling you uh, what you guys have got going on in Kentucky right now with our agent ownership. That's what this whole thing yes. is about is really paying it to all the other agents that are out there working so hard. And uh, your career, I was blown away when I came up there and, and just some of the stuff that you've done in a very, very short period of time. Because you've been in real estate since you were how old? 22 years old. 22 years old, and one of the things that blew me away is you were a Lifetime Achievement Award winner at REMAX by the time you were 34 years old, and that blew me away. That's, that's, a, that's like unheard of. Well, How did you, know you do what? that? <laughs> um, with a lot of hard work, and I will tell you, Jay, a lot of non-REMAX agents out there, um, they sometimes don't realize that, you know, before I was 30, my goal was to make a million in commissions. And then before I was 34, I wanted to make 3 million in commissions. And then I had the opportunity to learn that the only way that I could really truly succeed in this business is through the power of other people and empowering them, encouraging them to be able okay. to, oh, I want them to be able to know that they can do this yeah. at any age. Uh, so that's really why I'm just very passionate about the move that I just made. Um, I feel like God has me right where uh, he wants me, and I have just been fired up ever since. So now let's talk about, you know, how you got into real estate. So you're 22 years old, and how did you even get to that point where you were coming into real estate? Give us a little background on that. That's very interesting. Well, I, I grew up in the real estate and auction business. So when I was uh, young, going and helping my father with auctions, I never imagined, I always tell people, I never wanted to be a teacher and I never wanted to go into real estate. And then I went to a small private school, Transylvania University, graduated with honors. Uh, I was a finance economics major. Uh, my daddy said, honey, go get your MBA. And while you're getting your MBA, get your real estate license. And I thought, oh, Okay, then I'll get a real job. And 10 years later, by the time I was 25, I was making $250,000. And I was just like, wow, this is awesome. But what I also realized was it was really all about the people. And yep. I never kept track of my numbers until I had a really good mentor uh, to thank her. And her name's Jude. And 
she told me at age 25, she said, Elizabeth, you need to start tracking your numbers. So I started tracking my numbers and, you know, I would help one client and I wanted to help another one. And then my goal became to hit my hall of fame before I was 30. Um, and then yeah. hit, hit, uh, you know, 3 million in commissions before I was 34. So all my friends say, well, what are you going to do in your thirties? And I said, well, my thirties are almost over. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So you, you know, the auction business. So your dad was an auctioneer. Yes, he still is an auctioneer. Uh, I will say he does like to give me advice every now and then. Uh, oh, sometimes man. I have to remind him that I still own the company. <laughs> but I, I do love the auction business. That's a dad thing, though. Every it dad's is. like, oh, honey, I saw this, I saw that. He's probably watching right now going, honey, did you tell him about? <laughs> <You know? laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll tell me something afterwards, I'm sure. So. Oh, that's great. So um, now you still own, you and Lonnie, your husband, y'all been married 10 years, correct? We've and been married five, estate? but together for 10. Oh, five. So, together 10, married five. Okay. And so did y'all meet through real estate or? You know what? We somewhat did. Um, however, uh, it, at the time that we first met each other, um, it was kind of ironic because you don't meet very many people there in the auction industry. And actually 5% nationwide are women. Um, so you don't meet oh. very many women in the auction business and we specialize in real estate, uh, auctions, but we didn't really know much about each other until year, years later down the road. So, yeah, he's a great guy. I love talking with him, you know, and, and seeing what all y'all got going on. It's, it's awesome. So now you're, you're at, you're at Remax. Did you always start at Remax though? Or you know you what I did? Well, you know, the reason that I went to Remax was, um, first of all, I had a great mentor, uh, Harold Helm, uh, who he and my father wrote some of the absolute auction law. And he taught me wow. a lot. It was amazing because he used to uh, do very large real estate auctions. And I'm very grateful for that experience. Also, at the age of 22, the average Remax agent had 12 years of experience. So I thought, who in the world is going to listen to this young kid? Wow. And, it, and, you know, I thought, well, maybe that might help me. Uh, but I will tell you, boy, I learned a lot. Uh, and it really helped me when I made that next move, which was uh, my next real estate career move. Uh, and second move was to Keller Williams. Uh, yeah. So I learned a lot at, at Remax that made me realize of how I wanted to structure my opportunities that I got at uh, my previous company, which was Keller Williams. Yeah. So when were you, when did you leave Remax? Did you leave Remax? Okay. So you hit lifetime achievement on at 34. And then did you just immediately go to Keller at that point? No, I did not. Um, I took the position as CEO and team leader uh, at Keller Williams in January of 2015. Uh, okay. And for uh, 2015, 16 and 17, uh, I was the team leader and CEO uh, there at Keller Williams Louisville. And I had a, a great opportunity to lead some amazing realtors. And I will tell you, I don't think that they will ever realize how much they empowered me and gave me the confidence to realize that God had me calling, uh, called me to this position at EXP. Yeah. So. And so it is about, you know, when I was up in Louisville and you had a quite a few you had quite a few big guns out, and I, I, I was in my jeans, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm out of my league here. Oh, and, uh, you know, one thing I noticed about you is you have really helped a lot of people. You know, there were a lot of people in that room that you helped really kind of get them from whatever. They might have been part-time, and you helped them full-time. And I just saw a lot of people that you have really just dove into – at your prior company, and now here we are, all, the, all this madness with EXP. What I love it. I mean, it's to me, it's about, and I always tell people this, it's about, you know, at, at every place else, there's two sides of the table. There's a realtor side, an agent side, and there's an owner side, a brokerage side. Yes. And what EXP did is we just got rid of the table, you know? They, they really did. They really did, Jay. 
And you know, for the first time, just because um, I'm so grateful because I understand at least the side of the opportunity that I had for three years in the back and how um, how my previous company there at Keller Williams operates and works just with profit share, I was able to be able to analyze and realize with my finance background the difference between that and the revenue share. And yeah. when I made that decision, I knew that there was no way that I could just continue to sell real estate. I mean, the opportunity that I've had to be able to help change people's lives is absolutely amazing. And I believe yeah. that that's exactly where I'm supposed to be. Um, and, you know, I'm grateful that I still have my real estate team. I've got three buyers agents getting ready to hire another one, two full-time staff, got the auction company. But I will tell you, I have some amazing agents that have joined us. Yeah. And my goal is to get is to get 100 agents to help them make six figures. And it's yeah. really been all about them and what their goals are i've got one agent that has five children that is crushing it right now and i mean she's Good. got facebook she's doing all kinds of awesome stuff and it's i'm learning so much from them and they're teaching me while all the while i can give them all of my knowledge on hiring people and all the things i messed up on and all the systems yep. that i was able to do and now that i'm with a company that is agent based and cloud based yep. I mean, I literally thought, how in the world am I ever going to get this technology <laughs> in this cloud with this little avatar? But I, I got my long hair. I got my glasses on. And we're teaching inside um, the cloud. And it's absolutely phenomenal because I truly believe in my heart this is where real estate is going. Um, I do too. And, you know, we're so fortunate in the Louisville market that we still have some of the brick and mortars. We have three three spots right now. We've got three additional spots with Regis that our agents can go all throughout the yes. city and work. Um, but the true, with just the education and the and taking that brokerage side out, taking that brick and mortar expense, taking that staff out. Yes. I mean, it is giving agents a huge opportunity. And a lot of people have asked me, they said, Elizabeth, what are you doing? I said, well, here we go. I'm on my next here venture. I want to help more people and what better way to help more people than to be with the fastest growing company in the nation. There's just, I mean, I am fun and I'm so excited. You know, and uh, everybody, I, I want you guys to share the video. One of the things as we're on here on Facebook live, you can just share and add people to it and get it out there because I mean, to me, Elizabeth, this is a message of really, you know, I always tell people to think big. I was sitting down with a young man today, and I asked him right out of the gate, I said, how big a thinker are you? I <laughs> said, on a scale from 1 to 10, how big do you think? And he said, well, it depends on what I'm talking about. I'm talking about real estate. You know, how big do you think in real estate? He said, a, he said, a 9 or a 10. I said, okay, good. We need to keep. Because you know what? I want to try to challenge people to expand their, their thought process. And I always tell people, Think like a tech company, right? Yes. So think like a tech company. So when the guys created Uber in San Francisco, the last thing they thought about was, hey, I hope we can get some ride shares here in San Francisco. No, they thought bigger. They thought the scope of the world. And I think that's what we're doing. And maybe you can elaborate on how we're, be we're able to sell real estate in multiple states now. There's no there's no border. Right. For in different states uh, as long as we get our license in those different states and also to be able to build the brokerage all over the nation and all over the world. You want to talk about that a little bit? Well, that is the one thing that I felt like when I was analyzing a variety of different companies, Jay, because of my background being with Remax for 13 years and not just as an agent at Keller Williams, but as one of their team leaders, um, I've been able to see both sides of two large yes. brokerage companies and how one may have lacked education, one may have been more weighted on like the Walmarts, the bricks and mortars. And I, I like to explain the EXP as the Netflix versus the Blockbuster, the Amazon yes. versus the Walmarts. I mean, we, we're the Amazon that's finding uh, some of the bricks and mortars and we still have places for people to go and work. But 
it, what's so exciting is I, I know a lot about expansion and how teams are able to expand into other states. And what EXP yes. has done is they have taken that brick and mortar out to where I'm licensed in Indiana. I can go and sell in Indiana, and I'm still under the same cap. I'm not going to get charged in Indiana and charged in Kentucky or charged in Florida. I can go anywhere in the world, get my real yes. estate license, and create a team. But a lot of my agents will say, but Elizabeth, that's not what I want to do. I want to create a good life for my family. I want to be with the right kind of company. And I've always said the speed of the team is the speed of the leader. Um, and, right. you know, the agent brokerage side and the expansion side, I've got um, a young agent, Molly Corona. I mean, she wants to expand into California, Hawaii. And I tell yeah. you, that excites me because you know what? You don't have to keep your vision right here in Louisville. If you want to, that's great. If you don't, you can have a big world. Uh, and that's what I've been able to see with people like Gene Frederick. I mean, he texted me the other night and showed me what his revenue share was. And I, I hit, I hit Lonnie and I go, wake up, wake up. You've got to see this. Um, and it's, it's absolutely amazing. So. It's just exciting, and, and, and I love the fact, and I'll let you talk about it a little bit, and, and maybe, you know, not to, to single out anything, you know, because we got to be kind of careful. You know, well, there's a lot of good companies out there. There's a lot yes. of good brokerages. But for us to be publicly traded and agent-owned and the stock and, and all of the variables, to me, it's just those transparent companies. I don't think that there is a more transparent real estate brokerage in the world. I don't. I, I just do not. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I agree with you because when when I found out in the fact that once I joined, I became a stockholder. And with the, the vision of, of you and Gene and painting that, that vision of that picture of where EXP is going, knowing that yeah. I'm a part of that and I own into this company and that, you know, no one's going to tell me uh, that, that you have to do X, Y, and Z because we, we, we are the company and we yeah. want to grow through its agents on a grassroots basis. Um, I just think that's huge. And, and there is no other company that is encouraging us to buy stock back at a discount. Uh, that is encouraging us that once you cap and you have an opportunity to earn that money back in stock, I mean, to me, Isn't that, cool? that is unbelievable. I mean, it, 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 it well, and it, it attracts the large uh, agents that do a lot of transactions. I mean, to me, it's an absolute no brainer when you look at the numbers. Yeah. I, I, I'm glad you brought up the numbers. I, I always tell people, you know, that, I can sit down and debate our our brokerage over other brokerages with two things, a calculator and a piece of paper. There you go. <laughs> you know, and I understand it. And, you know, I, I love the fact that, you know, there's no secret on how you get compensated. And I, I just think we're also training. We're training these agents globally with, the, you know, Ashley and I, I don't know if you know this, but Ashley and I were in the ICON training on Friday and we were sitting there in the cloud and there were 300 agents and we were we had we had a bunch of mega agents up on the stage with us and we were sharing all of our secrets everything we do to create the business just giving it back a lot of new agents a lot of agents that want to take their business to another yep. level and I really look at it as how unselfish of a company we have. It's about, I, I mean, we can train agents all over the nation and give them all our secrets, you know? I love that. Well, and you know what was interesting is Lonnie and I, we were on a presentation today and we were doing an auction presentation. And I explained to him, I mean, our client was in Florida. Um, it, was on a, it was for a horse farm. Um, the cooperating agent was in Shelby County. So she was in Shelby County, he was in Florida. We were, we were in Bowling Green. We got on, and I, I turned and looked at him afterwards and said, you know what, how easy that would have been just to go into the cloud? We could have invited. And I said, that is where the future is going because yeah, is. everybody is so busy, and technology is really changing the way that we're doing business. 
Well, look at us right here. I know, I know. I mean, <laughs> we're sitting in our houses and having a conversation between us yep. and all of the people watching on Facebook. And I was telling, I want, I want to get your opinion on this. I, me and Ashley called the group on Friday when we trained those 300 agents. We, we thought that Facebook is the new data. What are your thoughts on that? So Facebook is the what? It's the new database. Like your database yes. is not just email addresses and phone numbers. It's your Facebook. Absolutely. That's your database. Absolutely. And I will tell you, I'm, I'm, I, I laugh because I tell people I'm usually an old crusty. I've been around for so long and I've got a database with a lot of people and I've been so fortunate to help so many people. Um, but that is one untapped area, which is the Facebook. And that's where I believe a lot of companies just aren't, they don't, they aren't getting it and they aren't educating their, their agents on it. And it's just, uh, they keep kicking the can down the road. And what I love is, you know, EXP has stepped up and said, here's what we're doing. Here's how we're doing it. And here's how we're shaping the industry. Um, and, you know, I know a lot of people have been very concerned about, you know, my, you know, what about my database? What about my information? Well, you know, Zillow's been around for how long? And you know what? They've never stolen a Sorry, client from me. <laughs> I mean, they've never taken a client from me. I'm not concerned about that. So they're not going, I mean, you know, that's what I've been telling people, you know, my clients are, and your clients, they're our friends, you know, they're, you know, if my clients watching right now, these are people I love and I, I, yes. I, I want to build a relationship with them. And that's what this business is. It's a relationship it business. Is. Most of my clients have Zillow, yes. but who do they call when it's time to go show the house? Right. Right. I mean, I'm not going to call your 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 people that love you, Elizabeth, they might use the Zillow app. They're going to call Elizabeth I agree. because they, know they trust you and you care about people, you know. And that's the way I look at it. I, I'm not worried about Zillow. Me I'm either. Not, not a concern to me, and you know, because this is a relationship business. This is people's homes. This yes. is their family. You know, and and they want people that know what they're doing that they trust. Uh, you know, you can't always trust the Zillow estimate. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you better not. I tell you, you know, Jay, you better not. I have, you know, I've been doing my radio show for 14 years. Uh, and they always, I always tell people I've got the face for radio. There's no doubt. Um, but I always do talk about updated statistics. And, you know, that's the thing. I mean, you, we're never going to take that relationship out of the transaction. And then when it comes to building um, your own business and, and having, being your own broker, um, because that is what EXP allows you to do. And if you're passionate about coaching and training, like I know I am, you know, it's about helping build other people and helping them build their business. Um, because I truly believe if I can help enough people, um, that it's, it's going to allow me to have that, that, to, the life that I want, and it's going to allow them to have the life that they want. Uh, and that, that's the thing. I, what I do love the most is that this company has allowed me to have a vision that is beyond what I could have ever imagined. Um, and I'm just excited because I want to be there yesterday. Uh, but, you know, with people like you and Gene and Rob, uh, this is, I mean, it's just exciting. I mean, how many agents are, are joining us today? I heard 82 to 100 a day. 82 to 100 agents per day. Wow. That's pretty crazy. That's awesome. That is awesome. I mean, you know what? No company has ever done that. No. No. I mean, and, and I think it's because, you know, there, there is such a, there's such a change going on in our industry. It really is. And there are a lot of new agents. There's a lot of people getting into the industry and, you know, I, I, I was on the phone with a, a young lady that works at Ernst & Young today. And she's like, I'm, uh, my, <laughs> my buddy's comment. I here. see it. I see it come up. <laughs> Vinny, I love you. <laughs> Vinny, I love you. No. Uh, but um, there's a lot of people getting in the industry. And, you know, I, I even told her, I was like, you know, it is competitive. It's very competitive, 
when a new agent comes on board. And what I like about EXP is they can gain that knowledge from so many successful agents. And I just don't think you get that in a little office in one town, you know? Well, and what I have found is that so many of the agents that I have coached and trained are not able to come into a brick and mortar. I mean, they have very yeah. busy lives. I mean, uh, Lonnie and I, we have three kids and we're running, gunning, going here, there. Um, and what I have found is it, it has allowed them the opportunity to get that education and training, not by flying to a different city to get it. I mean, they can go on their computer right then and there and start asking right questions there. and learn everything that I was teaching uh, in the brick and mortar world. Uh, and I'm sitting here thinking, wow, this is this is how it this is how you get it done. <laughs> hey, hey, guess what? Guess what? Jason Guessing, our CEO, is watching. Oh, <laughs> well, well, what I want to know is when when are we gonna be able to get him to Louisville, Kentucky? Because we're on we're on fire in Louisville. Yes, so hopefully, Jason, you'll have hopefully to we can shake it up enough to get him to Louisville. <laughs> We'll get him there. We'll get him there. He's just, I mean, I don't even know how they're doing what they're doing. And, and I mean, can you imagine enrolling 100 agents? That's, that's, that's 82 agents a day to 100 agents. I mean, wow. you know, one of, the ladies, one of the ladies that does the onboarding was at REMAX onboarding every REMAX agent at, at, out of Denver. And she was telling me the other day, she was like, I've never seen anything like this at EXP because she had come over. To be to bring agents to EXP onboarding, and she was just like, "I've never. I mean, this is crazy. This is insane." So we're getting a, we're, we're attracting a lot of talent. Jason, being the CEO, I mean, his job is to. I don't even know how many people they're hiring right now. I wish he would. He might be able to say that, but I mean, the cloud's growing. Our bandwidth of our cloud making it bulkier, where we can handle more agents in there. And uh, it's just, uh, it's really, really crazy what's going on. So. Well, and Jay, I know, I know that uh, Sam and Stephanie and Rick Roby and Tim Holliden, I mean, we have all, Cheryl Johnson, we have all made a commitment uh, to our agents. I mean, we've gone from like 17 to, well, right now, I mean, we technically don't no, have no. 70. We've got people that are in the onboarding stage. And I mean, that's been like in the last 65 days, I know. Um, which, you I'm know, to me, that. I understand that onboarding and how important it is to, um, to make sure that our agents have all the tools and all the resources that, that they have. So, I mean, we're, we're planning a big kickoff party in April and, you know, we've got classes going on every Wednesday. Uh, so that's I awesome. mean, it is just, we've got a lot of great things going on and, you know, somebody asked me the other day, they said, Elizabeth, you're so experienced and you have so much, uh, you know, real estate background, you know, yeah. wh why is it that you possibly have considered going to the new shiny penny? And I looked at them and I said, well, it's really not a penny. Oh, uh, <laughs> I um, was hoping you would say that. And I explained to them that, you know, with my education and my background, you know, the experience I've gotten in the last three years afforded me the opportunity to not wait for that move. I was not there going to say, you know what? I don't want to be here a year from now and miss the opportunity to get in now and to be able to help other agents and my stock go up because you know what? I'm always going to sell real estate. I love yeah. I love selling uh -huh. real estate. But it, this is an opportunity to be with an agent-owned, truly an agent-owned company. It is. Um, so, you know, when people ask me, they're like, I said, you know what, this is not just a jump out of the blue. Uh, you have to remember what I've done in the last three years and what brought me to that point and where I want to go in the next 10. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited. Uh, and I just, I'm really grateful for you to have me on the show or, in, or on Facebook. I say show, you know, I'm used to my radio show. I'm not used to people watching me though. <laughs> hey, tell them. Tell the people watching about some of the agents that have enrolled in Louisville because I was blown away when Tim Hollanden was in the room and you bring a diamond, three, three out of the last five years, he was a diamond at REMAX. 
That means he earned a million in commissions. And all of a sudden, he pops out of the back of the room like Batman. I'm like, there's Batman. There's Superman. He flew in the room, and I'm like, and he's like standing up, and I'm like, I'm like, holy cow, this is the caliber of agents that are leaving their brokerages? And Stephanie Gillison, who had 20 agents, had her own brand? She's watching right now. Uh, Drew Schroeder, Drew, Drew, <laughs> huge agent, huge agent out of uh, Indianapolis. It's like all of a sudden EXP rolls in and says, hey, you guys are generating all the money in commissions. Why don't we just let you guys own the broker? And all of a sudden it's like boom, 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 boom. Because you know what, Jay? We get it. I mean, you know, we've been around long enough and we, we've been with the companies that had the brokers telling us, well, this is this is how the split's going to be and this is this is how this is going to work. And, you know, you take a multi-million dollar producer just because you take the Robies and, and Stephanie and Tim and myself. I mean, you got over over a hundred million in sales right there just in the Louisville yeah. market. So you talk about taking market share. That's what we're here to do. Um, Sell houses. And, and you know what? Because leaders want to be with leaders. And people that, that can come together like that and bring all their different uh, backgrounds, experiences, yep. uh, and we're all working together. I mean, we have a meeting once a week. I mean, it's, it's awesome, the collaboration that we're doing to better the EXP and the Louisville and surrounding markets. And, and I tell you, I just, I'm so grateful that Stephanie has just, you know, been like, come on board, let's go for this. And I mean, we, we have just knocked it out of the park so far. So I'm looking forward to seeing where we end up at the end of the year, because you know what, our goal is hopefully we'll have 250 agents in the Louisville market. Which let, is let exciting. Me ask you Coming to Las Vegas? Yes. Next month? Yes, I will be there. I've already booked everything. You Lonnie? Yes, you he's Lonnie? coming too. Yes. Okay, who all's coming? Who uh, all's Stephanie, coming? Sam, Tim, Lonnie, Colleen. Uh, we've got a, a top producing agent, which, I, I mean, Colleen and Karen Kraft, they both sell millions, and they have joined EXP. So there's going to be a whole Louisvillian crew. I mean, we're, we're going to be – Awesome. Uh, maybe y'all could fly in a day. I don't know if you've you already booked your flights. I have not. Fly in on Wednesday. We are. Y'all, you and Lonnie will fly in on Wednesday because the, the convention's on Thursday. The stockholder, it's, it's stockholders. It's a yep. stockholders meeting. Yep. I mean, isn't that cool? Well, and I and love so, that part. Yes. And um, all right, so a couple more questions. I'll let you get okay. out of here. All right, I know I'm keeping you a long time. All right, one of the things I love about EXP, and I really want you to elaborate on this, I love the way EXP understands that the brand is is the agent. Yes. Elizabeth Monarch is the brand. Yes. They don't want you to focus on EXP. They want you to focus on Jay Nelson. Elizabeth Monarch, Roby, you know, yes. every age has their own brand. What are your thoughts about the, the, I guess, the latitude that EXP gives these agents and says, hey, put your name out there, get you out there. They're not focused on slamming their name out there in front of the agents. Well, and, that, that. and that's what I love because, you know, it's it was a great opportunity for me personally to – move my company to the, the Monarch Group powered by EXP. So, you know, I was of the notion when I was researching that, the idea that I have the Monarch Group with my logo, my crown, and it yep. is powered by the number one technology in all of the real estate industry right now, right. which is unbelievable. Uh, so to me, that just strengthens my brand and it strengthens my relationship with my sellers when I can go in and I can show them all the different technology tools that I was not able to get with any right. other company. So, I mean, to me, building the brand of you because people use us for who we are. Um, yep. And that that is huge. Uh, I learned a long time ago about how to set up uh, the right name for a team and a group. And I've, I've been coaching some current agents that uh, are with us about that, that transition and how yep. 
how important it is to brand them and their name and their team and their group. Yes. Well, I am so pumped to have you on board. I know Ashley and I are just so excited to see you in Vegas. And I think Tim's coming down this weekend or next. He's coming down on Wednesday. Yes. Come to one of our little events in Nashville. So I'm excited about that. You know, I just, I'm so proud of what y'all done in two weeks in, in, in helping get ownership because at the end of the day, this is paying it forward. Yes. The last thing I want to bring up, last thing, I promise. <laughs> Elizabeth's like, Jay, going on and on. It's like 10 um, o'clock my time, Jay. I'm usually in bed. <laughs> all right. The so last thing I want to bring up, hey, Maria, what's up? I had to say, hey. Um, the last thing I want to bring up, um, agents don't like change. And here's the thing. There's a lot of agents that are sitting there on the fence watching this explosion happen. They're watching, they're literally sitting there in their yellow cab watching regular people drive around in their Ubers. <laughs> and they're going, wait a minute, uh, do I want to get, throw the keys to the owner of the cab and jump in an Uber and make more money? How do they get over the fear of doing that because look, I got a little bit nervous when I saw this because I was like 13 years at Remax and these people are oh. about to make me leave. I was a little bit like I start my hand started shaking a little bit. I'm not kidding because I'm thinking, oh my gosh, they're gonna make me leave Remax. And I had in my head branded myself into Remax. I haven't had one person out of 55 closings in 10 months even bring up Remax. I agree. But I, in my head, I think I was a little bit convinced, like, oh, man, what if I leave Remax? And then now it's the thank you, Lord, for giving me the courage. But some agents sit there. They're watching the Ubers run around, and they're in the yellow cab. Why do they need to just bite the bullet? And how does how do you encourage them to do that and just say, I'm coming to agent ownership. Let's roll. Well, that it's it's very hard, and I will tell you, Jay, from my personal experience, I went through that four years ago, and I think a lot of it, it it's uh, derived by your original personality. Um, I'm I'm originally I'm I'm a driver, and I don't second guess things. I like to make decisions quick, um, and I think the first thing that an agent has to do is they really have to figure out how they process things. And I look back and I think, sure. It would have been grand if I had had five months to plan to move to EXP. But yeah. I sat here and I said, here is the chance of a lifetime. Yep. And I'm going to do this because I can remember my CPA always saying, Elizabeth, you can always go back. And I'm thinking, well, I guess I can, but no way. Um, you know, and I, I mean, I'm seeing some people that are on here like Maria Cruz. I mean, I know that she, um, oh, she, she's she, like an agent. I mean, she is. And, you know, I know the company she came from and she was there for so many years. I tried to recruit her for years. She's awesome. And, you know, it's when that light bulb goes off and you get sick oh. and tired and you look at the numbers and say, I'm ready for that cap. I'm ready to make a change in my life. I'm ready to better my children, better my position. I may not have to sell more. I get to keep more of my money. And I get to be with people I want in my sandbox. And That's when right. I saw the people that were moving, and I was like, uh-oh, here we go. What? I know what else is out there. And nowhere else are they offering revenue share. They're not offering stocks. Because guess what? Everybody else, you're going to go and sell. You, you can sell at any other company. But what other company is investing in you? Stop. I mean, the, yep. the EXP is investing back in us. They believe in us. Yep, love it. And, and, I mean, it's just phenomenal. So if you're sitting on that fence, and I understand. I mean, I am a, I am a compliant person. I'm a numbers person. I love to dig around. And you know what? Sometimes people think that there's a cost involved in moving. Well, I tell you what, we've got the onboarding down here in Louisville, Kentucky. And I've gone through this for three years, and I said, I'm going to get it right with this, with EXP. And, you know, we've got a secret Facebook page with their transition. We've got agents on there. They've got all the documents. And 
it's actually a lot easier. We've got sign companies. We've got, I mean, we're going to make it as easy and painless. And that way, all you have to keep doing is sell. I mean, because the clients That's are still going to love you. So. Well, listen, I am so excited about having you and Lonnie involved with this company. Um, you guys are bringing so much to the table. Uh, I can't wait to see you training in the Icon. You're <laughs> mega agent. So you'll be training in the Icon, and I'll be sitting there taking notes, right? Um, but listen, anything we can do uh, to help, you know, and, and I can't wait for you to come to – I can't wait to introduce you to Jason Guessing. It's yes. On the, uh, you're going to meet Elizabeth and Lonnie. <laughs> and so uh, it's just, it's going to be so much fun to build this company with you guys all over the world and help agents have, uh, have get rid of the middle of the table. Yes. Here's the agents. Here's the owners. Let's move the table and let's make it all one. And so, Elizabeth, tell Lonnie I said, hey, I you will. guys have a blessed night. Thank you for tuning in on the Facebook Live and doing this. Well, Thank you, Jay, and we'll see you in Vegas. Vegas, baby. All right. Go. See yeah. ya. Bye. See ya.